Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotouch.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the many new features in Adobe Photoshop CS5. Uh, yes, this only does work with Photoshop CS5, unfortunately, because it's one of the new features that Adobe introduced with their new Creative Suite. So today I'll be using Adobe Photoshop CS5 to show you guys content-aware fill. Now what this basically does, it, it gives you the power to remove any image from any background. For example, I have a picture of an iPod Touch here um, in front of a bed sheet, just laying on a bed sheet. Now what, with Content Aware Fill, I could just remove this iPod Touch and Photoshop uh, automatically determines what would go behind that iPod Touch if it wasn't there. And it'll automatically fill that in and it'll look like that iPod Touch was never there to begin with. And this is one of the great new features in Adobe Photoshop CS5. So let's go ahead and get started on teaching you guys how to do this. Now because it's an iPod Touch and because it's rectangle, rectangular, um, I could use the rectangular marquee tool and just select it, just like that. But let's say it's not an iPod Touch, it's not that simple. Let's say it's a person or even an animal. That would take a lot more effort to select. So what you want to do is use another new feature in Photoshop and use the Refine Edge tool. Now. What you're going to do pretty much is use the quick selection tool first and just make a quick selection. Just like that, I have pretty much most of the iPod Touch selected. Now go to Select and click on Refine Edge. Now what this does is it opens up this panel and it'll, it gives us a lot of tools and a lot of options to use uh, to make the selection a lot better. The first thing you want to do is change the view mode. You could leave it on black if it's a light object, but because the iPod Touch looks pretty dark, I'm going to put it on white. You also have other options like marching ants, overlay, black and white, on layers, and reveal layer. And what you want to do, the first thing you want to do is use the refine radius tool. It's essentially just a brush tool and you use it to select um, everything else that you want to select. For example, with the quick selection tool, I only selected the center of the iPod. But now using the, the, this new brush tool, I could go ahead and select everything else and Photoshop will automatically determine what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep. So let's go ahead and do that. And there you go, it made it a little bit better, but nothing's perfect. What we could do is mess with the settings for the edge detection. Let's use smart, smart radius and increase the radius a little. And let's say I selected something that I didn't want to select. What I could use is the Erase Refinements tool, which is right below the Refine Radius tool. Just click and hold, and then just click on, or just let go on the tool you want to choose. Next, I'm going to adjust the edge and make this selection a little be better by smoothing it out, giving it a little feather. I'm going to leave the contrast at zero and increase the shift edge to make the selection more. Now the last thing we're going to do is output to new layer with layer mask and press OK. That's how you would make your selection. But I'm going to press cancel because it's going to be a lot easier for me to just use the rectangular marquee tool in this image and select the iPod touch. Once you have your selection, no matter how you got it, once you have your selection, what you want to do is click shift and delete. And it brings up this panel, the fill panel. Now for the contents, it already has content aware selected for you. So just leave everything as is. Leave the blending mode at normal and the opacity at 100% and press OK. Now give it some time and bam, there you go. Now I'm going to press Command D to deselect it and there you go. More or less, this looks like that iPod was never there and it looks like a plain image of this bed sheet. Now, if you're not satisfied with your results, you could always go back and do it again and you'll get a different result every time. So I'm going to do Option Command Z to go back, press it twice, and now we have the iPod Touch back again. I'm going to make a slightly different selection and then do Shift Delete, OK. And just like that, we have a slightly better content aware fill. And there you go, this looks like that iPod Touch was never there, and it looks like a picture of a plain bed sheet. So that's a cool new feature in Adobe Photoshop CS5. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you guys could take this and apply it to your own image. This is octotuts.com, and until next time, I will see you guys later.